Hello friends. We are back again with our tea time. Yes, I am back with some new facts and some new stories about our tea industry. Do you know that in this industry we have a separate time other than the IST? Yes, it's called GLT, which is Garden Local Time. Garden Local Time, and we have IST, which is Indian Standard Time. This timing, a dual timing system, is basically maintained in the tea gardens of Assam, Jammu, as because the sun shine or the sunrise happens early in the morning than the rest of the India. So. Garden standard time or the garden local time is one hour ahead of Indian standard time, which is if it is 8 a.m. in the morning as per Indian standard time, then it will be 9 a.m. as per the garden local time. So, whenever like generally the working hours were from 9 to 6 or rather 5 at least, which is garden local time so which happens to be from 8 till 4 but as because the sun rises early in the east so we have to maintain it like that so that it is in sync with the rest of the other industries okay so now coming back to the new story that we are going to have today that's long time back well, again, I had just joined the and I was in my second year of an adventure show. I was that time employed with Andrew Da Company. Yeah? It's a government of India company. That time I was in Buflani Taste, which is uh, in Assam, Bolaghar district. It was a big garden and I was an assistant manager. As because it is in a very uh, very very remote location, this garden is uh, very near to Kajiranga extension of Kajiranga forest. So there were hardly any shops that way. So for all our purchases, we have to go to Bolaghat town. Otherwise, we have to be like kind of you know make do with the local stuff which is available. Uh, the things which are like normally available in the city. Like pizza, burger, you know, McDonald's, and all that. These were like kind of exotic for us there. And equally, the things which are exotic for the city dwellers, like Venetian meat, deer meat, uh, wild game meat, then uh, you know, silk worm. You can eat silk worm. It tastes like uh, shrimps or lobsters. So those kind of stuff. Then elephant meat and. Uh, you know, monkey meat. These are very easily available there, and uh, like you know, people used to relish those things. Anyway, so it was one day that I was actually going around on my bike in the car area, and as I was passing through the labor lines where the garden gentry, the labor, the workers came. So as I was passing through that uh, quarters, to their quarters, so. I saw a person sitting there with you know, goat meat. So I thought, like, you know, uh, why not let me have some tangy juice, you know, uh, the bone marrow juice of the goat. So I told this guy to, you know, I will take the four legs of the goat, and I paid him the money and told him to have it sent to my bungalow, my residence. People knew also that was not. So I knew that it would be arranged, and I left the place. Evening when I reached the bungalow, so I had like chef and their paniwalas. Uh, paniwalas means the guy who helps the chef, and then there are the bearers, and there are malis, and there are the security people, and all that. So there were like a lot of uh, people uh, there to help us out. So I asked the chef that. Uh, I have sent the tengri, so has he done anything? Well, no sir. I told him to make some tengri juice. I said fine. And he just left. I thought like that's because he's a 
he is a, or rather he was a very good chef so i thought he knows what i am talking about so like i went for a bath and took my bath and all that and then i was sitting in the jali kamra like it's an extension of the bedroom which is a huge veranda but covered with you know uh, wired mesh so that these insects and other things cannot come in but then nice flow of wind comes through that so i was sitting there and relishing my drink uh after some time i asked the chef to lay down the dinner is it fine so as i went to have my dinner when i opened the soup and poured it onto the soup bowl i can see it was little blackish in color blackish grayish in color so i thought possibly uh, you know like it must have been a little too much of a pepper or something that he had given because of this, this color is coming so anyway i just tasted a bit and it tasted so bitter like terribly bitter so what is this how can it be so bitter because last time i remember my father had made it it was like whitish in color beautiful taste lovely stuff how come it is tasting like this so i called this guy and asked him, How has he made it? He said nothing, sir. I boiled the chilies and uh, I done it. Boiled and then done it. You should have it. But okay, let's go and see how you have boiled. So I went to the kitchen. Though I am myself a, uh, you can say I am totally illiterate about the cooking portion of it till date. But still, I wanted to investigate what has actually happened. Food tendries that I had bought. So when I went there, I opened the cauldron and I see that this guy has actually boiled the entire leg of the food with the hoops and the skin and everything. He has just put it in the cauldron and boiled everything, and whatever has come out, there is yet to be to me to have as a tendry juice or soup. Well. So you can well imagine what would have happened after that <laughs> soup, and to the chef, and my own internal whatever was there churning out inside after seeing all that. This is the level of intellect that we used to deal with people on a daily basis. I hope you have liked the story. There are small, small these kind of incidents, many incidences which have happened, which, which takes place. In Most of the planters, right? And I would be equally glad to share all these things with you. I hope you have liked it. Please do like and share. Thank you.